So let's begin our discussion of electric potential, also called voltage. Electric uh, potential has to be understood in terms of electric potential energy. Uh, specifically, we can only actually uh, truly define the change in electric potential energy uh, as we go from one spot to another. Uh, you can only define potential energy if you define where the potential energy is zero. Then you can say, okay, compared to that, this spot in space has so much potential energy. But uh, in general, any change in potential energy is simply the opposite of the work done by the conservative field from B to A. So the change in electric uh, or in any potential energy from B to A is the opposite of the work done by the field. Uh, if a, a field does negative work, for example, if I'm lifting this pen up, the gravitational field does negative work, meaning it's got positive potential energy. So since work is F dot D, it's a dot product there, uh, let's fill in the appropriate expressions to calculate delta U for these two situations. So you notice uh, what we're doing is just comparing gravitational potential energy to electric potential energy. So what we have right here is we've got a G field pointing down. Um, what we're doing is if we lift this ball of mass M up distance D in a gravitational field G, well, how much change in gravitational potential energy is there? as we lift this from point B right there to point A, it's simply the opposite of the work done by the gravitational field. In other words, it is negative. The force is mg. That's the force of the, gravita the gra gravitational field exerts dotted on the displacement of the particle. Uh, so we get negative mg dotted on displacement up like that, and we get positive mgd. So how about this? Same thing for a particle in an electric field that's charged here. Here's a charge. Uh, the force on it is Q times E due to the field. The negative QE dotted on D, as I lift it from there to there, is going to be QED. That is the uh, force dotted on the displacement. And that will, because the, uh, the force and the displacement are in opposite directions, uh, that will be equal to positive QED. So, uh, in general, the change in potential energy of uh, any object is uh, just defined as U final minus U initial, the opposite of the work done by the field. If you're using calculus, that'll be the negative of, of uh, the force the field exerts dotted on dr, the integral of that. So when we're solving problems involving potential energy, and in fact, anytime we use potential, this is almost always true as well. Uh, first of all, you gotta set a convenient spot to u equals zero. Many times that's infinity. Uh, and it, once we do that, once we set that spot equal to zero potential energy, it becomes very easy to calculate delta u. Uh, so then once we do that, we can employ this equation uh, E initial plus work non-conservative equals E final, where work non-conservative almost always is uh, the work done by you, not the field, but the work done by you or some other outside agent. So now let's begin to discuss electric potential and what the heck it is. Electric potential, also called voltage, is defined as the electric potential energy per unit charge, electric potential energy per coulomb. The symbol is V for potential, or delta V for potential difference. And again, really the only thing you can truly define is potential difference, uh, that, which is why we always assign some spot to be, be potential equal to zero. The unit is the volt, V for volt. The unit definition, one volt is one joule per coulomb. Electric potential is the only quantity in physics, which I know of at least, for which the symbol, V for electric potential, is the same as the unit symbol, V for volt. The mathematical definition for electric potential is simply this. Change in potential is the change in potential energy per unit charge. Or what I think is much easier, as long as we define someplace 
where u is equal to zero, or v is equal to zero rather, or v actually both would be the true, then we can use this easier situation getting rid of the deltas, v is equal to u per q, and then calculate changes using final minus initial. Electric potential, or voltage, you could use either one, it depends on where you define the voltage equal to zero. For electrostatic charges in space, we most often define V equal to zero at R equals infinity, but we do not always do that. Often we'll define an electrical ground as V equals zero. On a car, for example, the chassis of the car is defined as V equals zero. The uh, utility company uses the earth as a ground, although that particular definition is consistent with V equals zero at R equals infinity, since if you have a charge that's in the earth, a reasonably good conductor, they can move as far away as they want to. Now on a battery we define V equals zero as the negative terminal of the battery. Again, once we define that V equals zero point in space, then we can easily calculate changes just by using the final minus the initial.